Okay, we can use... We can use... Pot of Duality. Three words, life point, gain mill. They're gonna use Chandelier on me. Alright, if you say so. Will I pull a second Overroot? <gasps> I have three Overroots. What card did they pick? I wasn't paying attention. <gasps> Astro Karibo. Oh, I can't special summon this turn. They pitched a Gamma. Maybe they have another Gamma in their hand. Who knows? End phase. I'm too poor to pull Pax Logs. Welcome Labyrinth. Okie dokie. Jet Dragon low key cracked versus Labyrinth. Is it? They don't really like destroy a lot though, do they? Okay, Ariana of the Labyrinth is going to search out another card from their deck. Searching out Lovely Castle. Ooh, the castle is going to be annoying. They can use that to pop my floodgates. <gasps> but if they pop my cards, then my Jet Dragon's going to come out. Oh my god, do they seriously just summon a single time? Oh my god, they're not even going to attack. <laughs> you absolute buffoon. Two, three, four. Happy New Year's, Mr. Logs. Happy New Year, Mr. Logs. I'm trying to think what three words describe this past year. Great, amazing, wonderful. Let's go into Shirai, the Ominous Omen. The Ominous Omen. The Ominous Omen. Shirai, the Ominous Omen. Activate Shirai, the Ominous Omen. Yeah, it's Shirai time. <gasps> Welcome, Labyrinth. Uh oh. And a ghastly glitch. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> They're gonna proc my uh, jet dragon. Okay. The ominous omen. Labyrinth, labyrinth comes out. He's throwing everything because Shirai has no target. True, that is true. Shirai has no targets. That face down card is probably more dangerous than anything. Let's get rid of this one. Oh, it was just magic cylinder. <laughs> Literally nothing to worry about. If you activate a non labyrinth normal trap card, special summon a card from your graveyard. Oh, and then they get another summon card. Whoa. Oh, and then Chandelier in the graveyard. Oh, and Welcome Labyrinth. Your turn, our turn. No, it's fine. I got this. They can't do anything this turn. They're completely out of options. All they're doing is reloading their resources for next turn. Unless they drew into a really good fiend monster, like a barrier statue. Which they did not, you absolute buffoon. Okay, now I have Jet Dragon live. The Labyrinth player be popping off. That's what you think. Oh, then it's going to use its effect immediately? Um, okay. Just what casual plus three, wait till tier. To set Labyrinth Barrage, which can't be used this turn. Let's say I have Cuckoo Clock in hand. Activate Astral Karibo, reveal Fortune Tune for a level 3, flip summon this card, and then we go into Fortune Tune. <laughs> Can't be targeted or destroyed by battle or card effects. Get absolutely shenanigated. Okay, and then we'll just uh, start destroying. Start of the damage step. This card battles target one card opponent controls. Return it to the hand. 
Oh yeah, we can do this to get rid of both of them. Uh, which one of these was Welcome Labyrinth? I think it might have been this one. Okay. I thought it was going to be Zeus. I mean, I could go into Zeus, but this is better. Because he can't be targeted or destroyed by battle or card effects. He is completely immune to everything. I think the only way my opponent can out this card is if they have, um... Is if they have, uh, whatchamacallit, specifically Ice Dragon's Prison. Or if they somehow have a way to go into Zeus. So a Crooked Cook, but worse? <laughs> yeah. It's not completely immune to card effects, but it is very hard to get rid of. And I gain life points every turn. <gasps> Ooh, 500 life points. Yes, please. If they destroy my Spirit Reaper, then I get Jet Dragon back. Welcome, Labyrinth. Life point gain mill found. Exactly. Labyrinth Barrage. Wait, someone's actually using Labyrinth Barrage? And a Compulse. Alright. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to send back my... <laughs> my Fortune Tune... Oh no, they're sending back the other card because that will allow them to proc their Labyrinth effects. In order to... Oh no, if they bring out a Labyrinth Mommy. Oh, thank god they only played one. That means they can't pop a card in my hand. Uh, never mind. <gasps> no. Please, I need my Lava Golem. Don't fuck me. Don't pop the card in my hand. I need that Lava Golem. Jet protects the set Reaper. Yeah. I need to get one of these cards on the field. All of their Labyrinth cards. Well, at the very least, they can't out my Fortune to it, even if they do pop the card in my hand. <gasps> Ooh, another lovely lady of the Silver Castle. It's my turn. I'll do this one and pop these two. <laughs> and then they immediately use the effect. How many cards do they have in their deck? Traded two monsters for one. What a deal! Well, the main purpose of that is to make sure they have, they start losing life points. Although, I don't know if I can do that, because they can pop everything on my field except for this fortune tune. However, with how much they're searching from their deck, they'll probably deck themselves out. Um, oh wait, they also have Underworld Goddess as an out to it. Damn, they're just like clicking buttons, don't they? Welcome Labyrinth before even flipping up their field spell. So we're just stalling? Yeah, the whole point of this deck is to stall. My opponent just keeps clicking buttons, though. They have so many plays for days. Button smasher clicker. <laughs> <laughs> there was no reason for them to do that all during their draw phase. Yeah, discarded Fusion Destiny. Mm -hmm. Not that it would have worked. Labyrinth ran Accumulative Fortune. It's crazy. It doesn't work. It's immune to destruction. You absolute buffoon. Oh, they don't have any traps. <gasps> Nightmare Wheel! Gained 500 life points every turn. Hell yeah. End phase. Nightmare is during the standby phases, right? So I need to do this during the draw phase. So they lose an extra 500 life points. Nightmare is such a throwback card. I know, right? Is it during the standby phase? During your standby phase. Oh no. Oh my god, they love clicking buttons. 
Oh, you want to leave? Okay. <laughs> to be fair, he used Astro Karibo. Yeah, he's currently extra immune to destruction. No Underworld Goddess? <laughs> Appalooza? Your point is activate the effect of a card. Or card effect. Did they destroy something? Oh, I guess Nightmare Wheel got destroyed, technically. The trap. Oh my god, I didn't think it worked that way. May time? Alright, here you go. Happy New Year's? Yes, Happy New Year's. It can only activate when a set card is revealed. Yeah, Apple does nothing for them. Yeah, that's that's surprising. If they had Underworld Goddess, they could have outed this card. Look at them attacking uselessly. They don't even know that they've already lost. All they do is just wait. I bet he's going to put Underworld Goddess in now. Yep. I'm going to gain so many life points. <laughs> They're going to try to negate it. All right. Greetings, greetings. Ooh, Soul of the Supreme King. That's a good one. Okay. Negating a 500 life point gain. Genius. It is. I literally have never seen anything smarter before in my life. Let's summon out this card. You... How much you want to bet he's going to try and negate the effect? It activates. What are you going to do? Yep, I knew it. You absolute buffoon. The effect is already negated and Appalooza doesn't even destroy. Get negated. Wait, if I have evac device, does that mean the effect will still go off? Anaconda. Oh. Certified button clicker. Yeah, literally just clicking buttons. Let me see. Match history. Yeah, they pitched Destiny. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Why did they get rid of Psyframe Gear Gamma? Basically, as soon as they could. If there was a card effect that was glowing up for them, they would click it. Without even thinking about it. You didn't have Driver? <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. There's no Driver.